So uh, I receive an email. Of course, I do receive email uh, on a daily basis from various Pojo users and non Pojo users that want uh, to make uh, one inquiry or the other. And uh, one of them, I uh, decided to do a video on that rather than responding to the person via the same email. So um, and this is the email. It says, um, Hello, uh, Lion King, I appreciate what you do for us the Pojo users and how you inspire us to appreciate our lives. Um, please, I would like to seek your opinion. What color do you think is the best for Pojo, uh, for Pojo 407? <coughs> um, I have a Pojo 407 and the body color is light, uh, I think you meant to write, uh, light blue, right? said right blue um, I want to repaint the car but with different color I want a color that will make it stand out and good to look at what color would you recommend regards John um, one of the reasons why I decided to do a video on this uh, is not just because um, you know you sent me this man I've actually been planning to do this video but you've given me the cost to do it. Now the Pojo 407 is a very good looking car. Though personally uh, it's not like one of the cars or Pojo cars <laughs> I have I intend to have you know as a private car. But it's a very good looking car depending on the angle you are looking at for. Some prefer when you know from the rear of the car and it looks very beautiful. Why some say no? They prefer the, the front look of the vehicle than the rear. It all depends, like I said. Some like it because of the interior. So everybody has their own taste and all that. So when it comes to body color, um the blacks, the black color looks very okay and very good on Pojo 407. Uh, especially if the the model the 407 has uh, this body this body detailing uh, with uh, chrome the one that has chrome on it um, uh, we call it, some call it body lining depending on the name yeah, I don't even know the name of that thing so it brings out the beauty of the car if it's black I have that thing uh, the lining then um, ash color, that's metallic color. It's okay. It's also very good looking on 407. It makes it look very good. And uh, well, to me, like I said, it, it's, it's good. Especially then red, even red too, looks very good. What I have observed about 407 is, uh, irrespective of the body color, once the body is intact, as in no squash, nothing, and the body paint is of high quality, it will look very, very good. No, I wouldn't say all of them looks down standing. It's not all the body color. For example, like 406, the ash color looks very, very, very good on the 406. Uh, but the long look, same on other Peugeot models. So there are some Peugeot models that have certain colors or one or two particular color, body colors makes it look very, very outstanding. Um, so, uh, but then there was something I, <laughs> I, I observed. You know, over time, in fact, like two times now, it's likely it's the same vehicle. For your 407 in white color, uh, what's it called? White color station wagon. Man, that car makes me start look at 407 like two times. You know, there are cars you look at once and you're like, okay, ah, good looking. You know, you focus on or you continue what you're doing. But that part car will make me look at it like two or three times. I'm like, wow, that's good. You know, the reason is. Some people don't like white color, but the reason why I like that particular, I started to pay attention or start finding that particular sexual wagon attractive because it's not, yeah, I've been seeing other white 407, 
the sedan or the saloon. But for some reason, I don't find them attractive. Not until I now saw that 407 um, station wagon. And later on, I realized that why that one looks spectacular or different from the other 407 with the same body color. And that is the roof. But in fact, I actually, before I wasn't paying attention to know why is this one look so different, even though I will be looking at it from where, from the front end. But yes, when I see the saloon one, you, you know, yeah, oh, it's good, but you know, not like I'm going to waste my time looking at it the second time. But whenever I see that station wagon, it will be like, wow, I mean, this is very, very good vehicle to look at. So. It was, was it two, three days ago? Probably the person I'm talking about is, so who probably will see this video and know he's the one I'm talking about. I think it was on Sunday, last, either on Sunday or Saturday, like five days ago. I was uh, coming in from a service lane into an, an expressway uh, here in Abuja, somewhere uh, between area one and the beggar. Um, so I just saw from, you know, I was just coming in like this and this is the major road So I was joining the major road from the service lane. So as I was looking before I could turn in, I also saw one white 407 saloon You know, very very clear one And uh, but what caught my attention, what made me, <laughs> made me you know, realize that Oh no, this is not just a one 407, is that because the roof is also in black color unlike every other Pojo 407 i've seen in that same body white color but this particular one the roof was black so i was like oh damn to be honest guys i i had i was slowed down i wanted the car to come close even pass me overtake me so i can look at it very well I don't know, for some reasons, it appears the guy who started slowing down, or whoever that was behind the wheel started to slow down. I was waiting, I come over, I want to look at the car and appreciate it more. It was as if the person was even wanted to stay behind me and appreciate mine. I honestly don't know what was going on, but of course I waited for a while and I had to zoom on. So, so it was, I was, I was now, as I was going, I was like, what, but why is this one so, it made me, Look at it like this way, you know, this way, unlike your other sedan or salon for several white color body that I've been seeing. I don't realize that the reason why I found I used to like that station wagon white for several because it has a what's it called? Panoramic roof, right? Is it panoramic? Let me confirm. Uh, pa panoramic, yeah, panoramic roof. It has panoramic roof. Those who know that will understand what I mean. And of course, the panoramic roof uh, comes in black color. So that was what made it that outstanding. And this particular saloon, I don't know whether maybe he repented the car and now maybe he also observed what I have been, you know, I've been observing uh, in the session wagon white. I decided to do the same on his own salon and he made it even look more beautiful than the station wagon. Guys, this is not a joke. So, and I took my time, I was like, wow, no problem, you know, so... If, since you, you want to change and you want your car to look very good, I would suggest if, if, you know, some white actually, on 407 or some cars, some people don't like white because number one, white, color doesn't doesn't glitter no matter how genuine or original the paint it doesn't glitter like every other body color or the darker ones so it makes it some people don't like white i mean when i was in the then when i was using my father's with your foes 544 it was in white color and i love it so uh, it depends on the vehicle there are some vehicles that white doesn't fit but this particular phone seven guys, check if you can. In fact, maybe you can even go online and search for Pojo 407 body white body color and see. You see, just be going look specifically look for the session wagon. I think all the session wagon 
have that panoramic roof. Pan panoramic. <laughs> uh, I can't get it right. Panoramic roof. So try and just Google it. You will see the difference between the saloon white and this one. It will cut, get your attention. So maybe you could try it since you want to do this thing. Just go and paint that white spread. Make sure the whole roof you spray it black. But then, my advice, you have to be very careful because this is where people make mistakes. Like I said, I've seen a lot of polyfoil several in white color, some not even the original one, or they've respread or repainted it same white, but messed it up. Some people give out their cars to people that price very cheap and do low quality work. You will see, you don't want it with white, it's not like every other color that even when you spray it and they touch the front grill, you may not really know, but white. Once there's any place on the body of the car that is supposed to be black, maybe like the body lining or the front grill or whatever, or the headlamp or something, and you didn't cover it well, and you spray and white touch it, it will mess up the entire paint job on that vehicle. That's one thing about white. So as long as if you are spraying white color, the best thing to do is Remove your bumper, both the front and the rear bumper. People make that mistake. I'm not a paint technician or a paint job, or I don't know about paint, but I know if you want to paint your car and everything to come out very well, the both front and rear bumpers are not supposed to be on the vehicle when painting the vehicle. But people do it. And when you now bring out the vehicle, you could see where the bumper and the body of the car or the fender uh, comes together. You will see because they, they didn't remove separate the two, the paint will now go and litter that line in between the two. It looks very horrible, it will be so sticky and sometimes uh, because you know uh, there is a gap there, sometimes it will start breaking up. Because that paint cannot stay on that line, so it will start breaking and will look so messy. So if you want to do it, make sure you do it very well. Remove your front grill, even when you, after, of course, when you drop the bumpers, you, you later you spray the bumper and then attach. See, remove the front grill on that bumper. Remove it. Your front grill is supposed to stay black, especially if your own is not that uh, one with metal covering. Remove the front grill, spray the distance, likewise the rear one. If there is a body line in there, either you cover it very well or you remove it completely. After the paint job, you put it back. Of course, there is a, the, the, the risk of scratching the paint while mounting the body, the bumpers back to the vehicle after the spraying. Well, that's what it takes. If you're a professional, you do it so neatly that there won't be any scratch on the paint or the body. So, the guys, and the other thing is make sure it's a quality pen. There are some that, some white color you see, no, not specifically for yourself, but some guys that will go and spray their cars white. It will look like poster color. White, if I white, if you use a low quality pen, <laughs> especially white, is the worst. It will make the vehicle look like, I don't even know, look as if uh, children are doing like primary school people are doing uh, handwork or something and they now use your vehicle to <laughs> do some training it's been so messy so if you can't afford, afford the quality paint just forget about white stay in your car white and if you can't give your job to the people that do it who are professionals that will do it very well even if you have to pay high to do it forget about white but if you can't, oh God, you will love it. You will love white 407 with white, black roof. Whether it's saloon or station wagon, whatever, whichever model it is, you will love it. Guys, I'm very serious. Just check it out. Even if there, you've never seen any white one, you can go online, just start searching. And start comparing what I'm saying. You check the other one. In fact, that one, it, it was so amazing that it's like, he knew how beautiful his car, or his or her car, was. He now sp the headlight was on. I don't know. Maybe he programmed the, the to work to run as daytime running light. So it was on, and he made the car. So I was like, wow, this is a car I've never I had no interest in. Yes, I enjoyed driving. 
uh, this EW12 one, then the Fuji 47 with EW12 model. I love driving them. Then the uh, I've driven uh, uh, coupe 47 coupe um, V6 manual. I've driven it only once and I loved it. You know, same thing with uh, any E12, whether scoop or more or saloon, station wagon, as long as it's manual, and it's very, very fun to drive. So, but in terms of the body, I'm not really into it like that. Like, I love my other project car. So, but this particular one, I was like, oh, <laughs> this is car you can't just help it appreciate. So, imagine if you have that kind of car that gives you joy to look at. Pod white Pojo 407, you have to consider that. But if you don't necessarily have to like it, maybe you actually don't really, ha you have a thing with white that you don't want to have anything to do with it. Or you've checked it and it still doesn't tingle you or you don't find it interesting. Well, just look for something else. I'm just giving, I, you're asking for my opinion and I'm giving it to you. So you now do your own research and know how good it is. You know, those guys, I, I love what I saw that day. Well, the salon with a lot on, uh, even the the side mirrors, the, the other side, you know, there's a part of the side mirror that will have the, the body color, while there's another part that will be black in color. He left it that way, he didn't spare the entire uh, rear view mirror white, no. He left it where it's supposed to be, and spread only that part that is supposed to have the body color on. So the other one that is black now makes it look more beautiful. The black roof, the black part of uh, what's it called? The external rear view mirror, and then the other one white headlamp on. Oh god, it was marvelous. So yeah, I believe I've helped you out. You can try other colors. That is what you want. So talk to you guys soon.